The stars and the stars, yeah. First, you just uh, uh, really cooked up in your own mind about like uh, your album, you know, like a regular work year. And then uh, Corona happens, and uh, uh, George Floyd happens, and uh, the protests, and everything. And uh, yeah, gives uh, a lot of perspective. And uh, I haven't really thought about my albums <laughs> since it dropped to be honest but uh, I'm glad the album came out because or else uh, it would just be in my mind and maybe it wouldn't even feel right to put it out after all this so I'm glad it came out when it came out it has a place in the universe it, it exists where it's supposed to liquid knives check the bro suffer suffer but I go you kind of do now and think later, you know? You, you just do it, do it, and you know, you get the, the words out and the melodies, and maybe there's some spirits that come in from the places and just give their thought on it and, you know, come into the sounds, but you don't think about it until you're sitting there and it's mixed and you, you see, like, kind of like the vision that, that's built after, but... So, there's a lot of subconscious, and then, thinking about it then sorting it out but I'm happy about it you know I love that album it's my baby it's a happy album because I'm at a very I'm at a good point in my life like I'm calm I'm happy and I think it comes out in the music do what we feel and what comes out comes out and uh, when you when you make music for a long time, you realize it's just it's just about capturing uh, like the essence of the room and and the time. And if it's a sad time or if it's those feelings, you know, then you have to bring that out. But it's a lot of sophisticated people that write articles, and they sound very smart. But I don't think there's much, you know, they're they're thinking too much. It's just music. First of all, I don't think I've ever been a drug addict. I wouldn't call it that. No, it's, it's not your fault. It's, it's, it's always like something I said in an interview gets twisted. Um, I've, 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 I've had problems, you know, but, but mainly it's, uh, you know, uh, just my psyche and stuff like that. But I've learned from everything, you know. I've learned from drugs, mistakes with drugs, mistakes with people, good times with people, you know, all these years. I've taken a lot of losses, I've taken a lot of L's, but I got back up and I fell down and I got back up again. And I'm kind of happy I just did this in, you know, my early teens, because I wouldn't want to be 40 uh, chewing pills and, you know, having kids and realizing I had the problem then. or figuring out stuff about myself when I'm that age that I could have done now. So if someone's inspired by me, I want them to be inspired to, you know, look into themselves and make music and, you know, make art and, you know, find find out about themselves. I don't want them to be like, yeah, I'm inspired by Lean, so I'm doing all the Sanex now. Fuck that. No, 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 I, I don't want that. Right now, Mm, I don't think there's room for me, you know, it's not, <laughs> there's no room for my dreams. And I don't want, I don't want that room right now. It's, it's more about changing the world, everyone coming together. That's probably, um, yeah, no, I don't have a dream right now. No. <laughs>